what we're trying to cover with your iron play you know we've talked a little bit about how you were just reverse pivoting here now i think with the driver all of us included any from myself anyone is you know, we got on that golf course we think right you know we can give this one a hit down there yeah. sometimes our, our tempos can get a little too quick and obviously the momentum and with the characteristic that what we saw with you in your iron play course with driver being a longer shaft if you get that revert longer club takes you over too much reverse pivot that's going to throw the club back out and because the shaft is a lot longer than your seven eight iron ultimately that out to in swing is far greater so of course when you're coming back to impact from a much further out to in you obviously the body's leaning back and again as it leans yeah. back it's not it's not turning onto your left side so club face control a becomes of course if you happen to that face gets active for the little loft that you've got on there to start with it turns it into next to nothing right. so sometimes characteristics at the ball just comes out low and in your case we know that if the out to wing comes back in yeah. you start getting that heavy slice shot into play that's it that's been my sort of miss i would say is what i always refer to as like a bit of a shaky shot kicks in so knowing that with the work we did last winter in, of getting that good draw going on I now know if I don't see that come out on the course, I'm probably doing something because it's, it's almost just not the shape I'm used to seeing that more of, I don't even want to call it a fade because it's probably a slice, <laughs> a fade would be generous. But you know, it is that, you know, coming out left to right and it just kills a bit of distance. It's yeah, not it got takes, that same it takes, to it that look, in golf, on a golf course, sometimes, you know, those, those big left and rights, rights less, there can be a time and a place where we need them to get back into play. But obviously when you're trying to perform at your best with the driver, as we yeah. said, that's weaken the power. You know, where, where you had it earlier this summer when you were playing nicely, hitting a lovely little draw, that's just come out of line. And I think in, in your case, we know that with the backswing, it doesn't hit the golf ball, but with that reverse pivot that we're, we're trying to stabilize is that if your backswing is in that position with that reverse pivot, you have to make compensations on the way down. And what we're seeing is in, in the case is that that just got you too much out to win bit of a weaker hit, yeah, too true. much left to right movement. So we've got to get that absolutely nailed down. From there, we can start to get you effectively getting your swing path more neutral, gently from the inside and get you back to hitting that straighter or draw flight when you were hitting at your best in the summer, okay. when, when you were getting the distance with so it. So if we think about, in that case, what the feels would be, I know we've worked a lot on my takeaway because also like I could get a little rolly, couldn't I? So we've kind of focused on that real taking it out like that yes turning so when i've got that turn and feeling like my back's flatter towards the target what yes. what would from here at the top of my backswing be that swing thought with driver i know with irons we've touched on it being you know that weight shift forward and low is that a similar feel well i think if we just go back into the setup position i think you know we we touched on it and it's something that i say is that when we set up with driver because the attack angle of the ball is much shallower more up than down with an iron. One thing we've talked a lot about, we know that the ball position is the furthest forward, just inside the left heel. But obviously when we've worked on your setup, we've talked about from there, about just bumping the left hip up a little higher than the right. Now that, getting that set position there, naturally, turns, and it really sets you up to help turn better. I think sometimes your hips, they get a little like, they're, you've got the ball forward and you're all set up like a driver, but the hips are effectively back, more parallel to the ground. And again, he thinks, my, if my hips are this way a little too much, you can start to see yeah. how I can yeah. go that way. So that's key there, as you said. As you said, you've worked on the, along yeah. the rail, stirring them down. And like you say, again, yeah. it's effectively now, but you make, don't you, need to, you don't need to focus on driving the shoulder down, but you certainly need a little weight shift to the left. Okay. Nice, very good. Thank you. I can set up good if I get in a good position, but I think I'm gonna stay back to launch yes. it. Of course, now effectively by doing that, yes, I can get back to launch it, but because I'm stuck, again, if I hold on to the face stable, I'm probably gonna lose it right, even okay. from a good, or if I let the hands go, I'm gonna hook it. So we've got the start position here correct, but we still want a little shift that way. So yeah. when we open and hit up, our body's a little bit more forward. There you go, Jess. Yeah, that felt better. See, that's perfect. Look at your, so again, look, we just, you know, look at your finish there. 
So you see, you, you, you forward, you've come round, the club's recoiled, and your spine angles come back to that upright position there. Okay. That time there, so we got the sequencing good, sternum down, club came from the inside, there's that little baby draw that we've seen you do many a time in the summer. Okay. So it's a much better strike. Yeah, it felt better. I felt like a, I really sort of yeah. turned across there. Is there any risk yeah. of that becoming like, you know, a, a no. sweat, you know? No, I'd look, because obviously when you're doing that, your right hip is going back as well as you turn the the only way that's going to happen is if your right hip continues to move okay. sideways with the upper body. But if you, when you, when you've let the body get a reverse or pivot, anything turning down is potentially going to feel extreme in the yeah, other direction. But it's not reality. I think, as we know in golf, different. we've talked about it. The sum of the, when you talk about characteristics, whether it's ball position, so the feeling against reality are so far apart. You know, when you see it back on video, sometimes it's like hard to believe that. I felt like a big sway, but I was yeah. actually just only just turning into the right position. Okay. So it just feels better because I feel I can give it some through the ball, which yeah. I sort of lost a little bit, I think, with driver. Yeah, and got... you can see there that that was a much better strike. I know it's just a little push. Yeah. So a little push, but not a cut. No. So coming from the inside, so that, and like you said, a much more efficient strike of the ball as well. Yeah, it just it's trying to get back to that place where you think... I've, I've got a clear thought that I, or feel that I can just execute and then sort of at least, you know, even if there are still misses like pushes or, or whatever the shape is, it's almost knowing that at least I've got that feeling in myself yeah. and, and clarity of like, this is the one feel I'm trying to execute rather than, I just feel with driver, I'd sort of lost a bit of confidence recently and I'd sort of stand over the shot thinking I've no clue what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Whereas at least if you can focus on your processes and like my... Yeah process thought of maybe step on it or you know good turn and get that dry drilled so that feels a little bit more natural mm. than the step on it I've got a thought I can commit to and yeah. you know the outcome of the swing will be what it is but at least I've got that confidence in that committed swing feel yeah that's... which <clears throat> I feel like we've made so much progress with with irons that actually now taking that to driver and you know using the winter to really groove those moves and go out and play and you know, even though the conditions aren't the best, it's like, okay, if I can get really confident in the swing feels that I've got, when yes. the conditions then do improve, things will hopefully come together yeah, a absolutely. little bit more. Well, I know that feeling well, Jess, of wondering where it's going, you know, it takes a padlock to get off me to get right. on the golf course these days <laughs> for that reason. But going back to what you said, look, you've done a lot of dry drilling, yeah. which has been very successful and it is a great thing to do even combining that with some mirror work so okay. if you if there is a mirror at home that you can stand opposite on things like in my opinion that can be so powerful some so sometimes when you're here with yourself you know i can be getting you to do something yes we have the video to back it up but there can still be a part of the brain that thinks that's still am, am i not swaying yeah. so there's still that doubt but the way that ends that doubt is things like the dry drum, but the mirror work is incredibly powerful. So if you were setting up and you just did the turn and you suddenly look at the mirror and think, wow, that, you know, with the mirror opposite on, you can see you are, you think that's unbelievable. It feels so like I'm facing the ground, but actually I'm in a very neutral position. Yeah. So that mirror work drive, that can be a very powerful tool for you individually to actually think, I know it feels a bit extreme, but I've seen it in a mirror. So I'm learning the feeling, and, and obviously the mirror's given me the clarity that I'm creating the positions that's required. So when you go and practice on your own, you're more likely to trust it. Such a better hit, Jess. Yeah, it's much I mean, better. So more efficient. And see, look at that launch. Yes. Yeah. You're launching it so much better. Now we're cooking. There you go, there's that little high soft draw. Very efficient way. strike forward. It's down the fourth lane of the M25. <laughs> I can't keep up with that. 